We know that among other things, the old wall chart that was invented more than 140 years ago really doesn't tell us much about what we see. There's nothing real world about reading a line of letters on a chart. The chart is always presented under optimum conditions. There are all sorts of other problems with it. So what do we do? Well, we think that we address kids in the language that they've come to know, and that is a video game. A video game that they enjoy, that is quite simple, and that really effectively, while they play the game and are completely unaware of what's going on, diagnoses certain common problems with their vision. Our project is to build and deploy the games and quite simply screen every child that we can reach. Quickly, effectively figure out whether there needs to be an intervention. We want to do this by involving local communities. That's the only way that this will be successful because we need to involve schools, preschools, charitable groups. Everyone has to be involved. What we want to do ultimately is the very small goal of improving the quality of life of every child. That's it. That's why we're here. A very big problem because of the types of defects that exist. Literally hundreds of thousands of children living out their early lives and therefore their later lives with undiagnosed vision defects that ultimately affect their quality of life very severely. What we think of the answer is KidSight. It's a game, but it's a game that's deadly serious. Our objectives, early detection. Let's get these kids as young as three years old. Let's make it accessible. Let's make this something that is fun, that's completely automated, so it doesn't take a healthcare professional sitting there trying to run each one of 500 kids in an elementary school through a battery of tests. Quite frankly, that's not a useful thing to do with their time. It's not very accurate after about the, say, 30th kid. It's a mind-numbing exercise. We want something that is accurate, something that's effective, and most importantly, something that's just dead simple. In other words, there are no wrong answers in KidSight. How do we do that? Well, we make it look easy by using high technology advanced technology in what we call an active vision portal. Almost looks like a submarine periscope that you look through. And although the kid isn't aware of it, it's testing the eyes alternately, it's flipping back and forth to detect other types of vision loss that an eye chart never dreamed of. 3D animations that are engaging and that allow us to determine focusing defects. Vision measurements including measurements of contrast, both high and low, something that an eye chart is never designed to do. Color. We screen for color only episodically, under state requirements, only every few years, and then not under real-world conditions. We only use the standard Ishihara color blindness tests. Those don't tell us about your ability to perceive things in reduced regimes of contrast. And peripheral and stereo vision. Again, things that aren't tested at all with a paper eye chart. We try to base this on standards and then we knit the machines together in a wired and wireless network. And why do we do that? Because what we're trying to do is build databases to understand the epidemiological aspects of vision defects in our population. Kids, try as you might, grow up and they become adults. Adults with vision problems that are in need of correction, in need of intervention, and what we want to do is get to them really early. This is what we want to do. We want to reach the world. How? Well, through the news media, the most powerful communications method we have. We are put together a campaign that tells people they need to help kids see. A public campaign, multimedia targeted at parents, at schools, philanthropic campaign, the Lions Clubs for one, over the entire country work to raise funds for vision projects. This is an ideal project for each and every chapter of the Lions Club. Foundations are another great source of funding that we'll tap with our materials and with the demonstration that these things actually do work. 
an industry campaign going straight at the vision care and eyewear industries. Because after all, they benefit at the bottom line whenever a child sees better. And finally, a professional campaign. A campaign that says to eye health professionals, you need to understand how to better screen patients, how to better screen children to help them see better. What do we all get out of it? Pretty simple. Seeing kids become seeing adults. That we can take to the bank. And how do we take it to the bank? We take it to the bank because in our society, an information-based and service economy, seeing is what it's all about. We improve literacy if you can see to read, employment prospects, economic productivity, the drain on our economy from people who lose their vision or never had very good vision is incalculable. We improve self-esteem and ultimately, yes, we improve quality of life because these kids learn to see early. And this is not simply a matter of your eyes, remember. This is a matter of your brain.